Right, welcome back to another episode of Break 40 with an updated version of what's in my bag right now. And for reference, I will be using that Mez putter that is on display. I'll be using a 60 degree tailor-made Hito 3 wedge. I've also got a Sugar Daddy PXG 54 wedge in the bag, PXG Gen 6 irons, a hybrid number four from PXG Gen 6, a five wood from PXG Gen 6, and the Stealth HD driver from TaylorMade. Enough of that, we're at Presswick Golf Club, which is the birthplace of the Open, and after a few rolls on the practice green, it is time to step to the first tee which is a little bit daunting to say the least. It's daunting because that practice putting green is right at my back and when you step to the tee, everybody downs tools, which means eyes are on you and you've got a railway line down that right hand side, which is extremely worrying. I have got the four hybrid, not the three as the picture suggests. And I am so pleased when I just hit a soft cut down that left to right shape and we find ourselves in good position on this opening hole par four. Now I've only got 140 in, I've got one of those gen six irons, it is a nine iron, and with a bit of dip in the knees, it's a bit of a thin bladey one, and I look over to my dad who can see and tell me that that's made its way to the backside of the green, which was extremely lucky. And even more so when you consider how close my ball has finished to that wall. Anyway, first real putt of the day, if you like, on the on the green. Um, all about just getting pace. Can we two putt from this kind of distance? It's not a bad start to the day. It's left a little fiddly one, I suppose. Maybe a little bit more than what you class as being comfortable. But with just uh, maybe three foot to the hole, that mez putter always stands me in good stead. And we start off with an opening par. Right, onto the second hole, which is a par 364 yards. It's a little bit down breeze and downhill. I've only got an eight iron in hand. It's a bit of a cutty swing. I didn't really like it, but it's uh, making its way to the right hand side of the green and then one bounce and it's into a bunker. Now what I'm trying to do is just land this one soft and release down the hill, which you'll see very shortly or down the slope. And I don't reach that slope, unfortunately. But you will see what I'm on about from this putt because once this ball travels sort of eight foot, about there, you'll just see it slides down the hill. And it's a good effort, but unfortunately, poor tee shot, poor bunker shot means I'm gonna walk off with a bogey. And that takes me to one over after two. Right, onto the next hole, which is a par five. It's a real fiddly one, it's only short, but you've really got to plot your way around it. That HD driver from Stealth 2 is in hand. And again, real solid strike. Softish swing, I was worried about going too far, would you believe, on this hole, because it is all about position. And you'll realize that I perhaps got a little bit lucky because just a couple of yards further on, you can't see it right now, is a bunker. And um, yeah, I've got five wood in hand. And it's all about playing across the angle. The line is the shale path, cream colored path over the top of that. I got it a bit heavy, as you can see from the divot took with a fairway wood, not ideal. But as it being not a long hole, I got away with it, a little bit of a blind shot. I got that 60 degree high toe wedge. And it's just to be honest with you about flicking this one up and hoping that you get somewhere in and around this green, because it can gather around the sides, as you'll see shortly. I can't see that one, so it's a quick look to me dad. But this is a real indicator of how tricky these greens are. Watch this putt from me dad the angle he comes from, where he sets the ball up. And to be honest with you, you won't see a better shot on this video because that's a fantastic effort from where he got to, to two put from there. I have now, of course, got a birdie put. I set it out down the right-hand side. It starts to swing in, but clearly I was looking for too much break that just wasn't there. But happy enough to walk off with a par and remain at one over. Right, next up is a par four. This one is about hitting it on the line that I've just put it on, which is down that left-hand side, and in my case, just with a little bit of cut. It was a real solid strike. And I'm in what I consider position A. You don't want to leak it right off the tee because there's a burn that runs down the right. And the problem with this is that bunker is covering the angle in, so it's a case of just stay right of the bunker, 
just in case we uh, made a mess of one it comes up short i stay out the bunker but in this case it, it sort of carries it i played it pretty damn good to be honest with you and left eight foot uphill no break whatsoever and a real opportunity to get back to level par pretty confident with mez in hand that uh, i'd hold this one i fancied it but unfortunately, I left it in the jaws, as you can see from that turnaround in uh, disgust, really, because, uh, yeah, it was it was uh, just hanging on the lip and just needed hitting. Anyway, one over, we come to, um, well, a very infamous hole. Himalayas, the fifth, 206 yards, the four hybrid is out, and uh, it's over that line of sleepers. I, again, leaked it out to the right-hand side. Wasn't the best of strikes. Not swinging it that great at this stage, um, but I kind of knew I, I was I was okay, but a very awkward chip in. And this is the PXG 54. What these do really well is the heck of a lot of spin and a heck of a lot of grab, to be honest with you, um, which is something I really like. Um, Mez Putter, bit of a swing on this from right to left and under hit and didn't give it enough in terms of that borrow to the right. So again, bogey, poor tee shot, two over, now the question I get asked most on any video that I post is where did I get that golf bag from? Well the answer is quite simple, it's from Presswick Golf Club and you have got a fantastic chance of winning one for yourself. All you've got to do is follow the entry conditions on the screen right now. That means following one of the social accounts and post a comment on this video. It is that simple, we'll make a draw within two weeks of posting this video. Good luck and uh, trust me, you really wouldn't mind getting your hands on one of these Titleist Lynx Legend golf bags. They're very nice, you know. On to, this is actually, this is the 10th hole. We skip across now. We've called it hole six, but officially this is the 10th hole if you ever played Presswick. It's very low in the stroke index. I think stroke four, it plays very long. Uh, solid tee shot again driving the ball really well the hole weaves itself sort of from left to right but that is very much position a you'll see those bunkers are always strategically placed to catch you um but again you know sort of i think i had 196 up the hill four hybrid again just a real odd dip of the knees which i've seen on a few swings which uh, again a little bit cutty uh, still not happy with the way things are going, but it hung on to the side of the green. But this probably is further than it looks from this camera angle. And a bit of a hoof because it's all uphill as well. Um, and this is the kind of stuff that, yeah, I don't spend much time on them. I know where the line is roughly. I like to just go at these fairly firm. Big old swing with the mares, try and keep it all square and happy with a four there. Anyway, next up it is on to a par three. Uh, so this is officially the 11th hole. We're calling it on number seven. 195 yards. I've got the five wood, not the three wood as the picture suggests. And this was a real nice clean strike. Good ball flight. Just didn't cut. Uh, hit it really straight, to be honest. Kept on the line and I ended up in a bunker. 54 wedge. Opened up a little bit. Realised the first bunker shot, there'd been a little bit of rain. The sand was heavy and give that a good old thump. And... Uh, yeah, give myself a chance, which is all you can do from there. And this again, real good positive swing. You can sort of tell the confidence in the putter because of the release of the putter head, in my opinion, and how smooth that uh, is. There's no hesitation. Anyway, next up um, is actually hole 13, but our hole number eight. That HD driver is out, and what it's done all day really is hit the ball pretty damn solid. There's a pathway down the right with uh, access to the public and I'm always worried about leaking one out to the right hand side so maybe a little bit over cautious but right into the wind now. Five wood, really pleased with this because I kind of chased it up as far as I could um, with that five wood, kept that ball position uh, back in the stance and left this one which is, trust me, this is as tough as a pitch shot as you'll get around the fringes and uh, unfortunately I'm hiding a flag with the camera position that I've put and you'll see the ball just sneak out to my left hand side very shortly and appear on screen and what you're just hoping is that it doesn't run away with itself because as you can see now from the back of the green uh, maybe more of the undulation that is in the green it's hor horrendous uh, good solid putt 
up the hill obviously needed uh, a bit more of a hit but it was online and unfortunately it was a five but the wind is picking up now it's playing fairly long and i don't know a five is a good score in my opinion on that hole right so we're playing back into the clubhouse it will be my ninth hole uh, at this point i'm standing at three over we've got that taylor made driver out the hd i'm really loving this at the moment and that shaft combination and again just a solid ball flight tried to be a little bit greedy maybe um didn't have as much carry as i thought i might have uh, the rough's not up at the moment so again um it's not sitting too badly in all honesty and i've got just a flick but but interestingly enough this i, I kind of had 115 bunker is right uh, in front of the flag and this was possibly the best shot of the day that i hit because i picked it up really clean and um stuck it to whatever that is eight or ten foot and it would be very nice to finish with a birdie which i did and a real solid strike brings me back to plus two a great round for sid who played uh, a nice knock round there as well we're at presswick and dundonald links for what is 80th birthday celebration and uh, we had a fantastic time at Presswick Golf Club, the course itself is uh, it's just a very, very special place and one that you should try and get to if you can. A few glimpses of what happened on the back nine as we carried on recording. Uh, plenty more fun, but uh, it was time to just chill a bit, switch the camera off. And uh, after this, we decided to call it a day and we made our way into 18 and finished with a couple of pints. Right, as ever, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one and uh well i'll see you all more than likely tomorrow night let's see where this finishes what a chip that is and well played see you later